One of the funniest things for me about being disabled is when I'm around people and they see that I can't use my hands, almost 50% of them will say, you should get one of those helper monkeys. Yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it? A helper monkey. Because they've seen a TV show at one point that showed this helper monkey helping somebody who was disabled, you know, open a soda or get them something out of the fridge or something to that effect. But I tell them, I'm like, do you ever wonder what happens when that camera's not rolling? Like the monkey's pooping and throwing it around your house. It's like, stop, heinous monkey. Don't eat my food. Put that banana down, monkey. Heinous monkey. You're a heinous monkey. Yeah, I don't want one of those. What's up, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? It's Chuck, also known as Ask a Capper. <laughs> hope you guys are doing awesome and having a great new year. Happy New Year to everybody, and I hope that this year is successful for you. And I hope you succeed in all of your New Year's resolutions. So yes, May 2013 be a great year for you. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this game of Domination. I just want to show you that intro because that opening route was awesome. I get a riot shield kill, which is so hard to do when playing with your face. Oh, I get like three a week. It's painful. I end up hitting the jump button a lot and like I'm jumping and riot shielding and end up just getting shot. They're like, what an idiot. Like, hey, I'm playing with my face. Go easy on me. But yes, I hope you enjoy this game. It's a good one because we lost that first round, which I don't like when that happens, but it does happen. So I was like, okay, put on the tryhard pants. Or can somebody help me put on my tryhard pants? Because I can't put on my own pants. That's so sad. So yes, and uh, enjoy the game. There's, you know, it's all me going crazy, trying to cap the objectives, and I do pretty well. I was happy with the game. I'm actually, I just enjoy playing video games. It's super fun. And yeah, I wanted to also give you an update on what's been going on with button remapping. It's been nice having all the new signatures as people have come over from Mr. I Tryhards and appreciate that. Always a nice thing when people see it and they're like, oh yeah, I want button remapping. Hello, the comments are awesome. Just really, really, really appreciate all the support. And um, yeah, I want to say that I got some tickets for PAX East. I'm excited. I'll be going down in two months, two and a half months to talk to developers about button remapping. And I want to ask you guys if I'm going to actually need to raise some funds because as you guys know, I had to buy a handy van and that was a pricey endeavor. And I appreciate everybody who helped me actually raise some funds for that. And it was cool because if you're new here, we raised funds using a free MP3 code through Amazon. And I plan over the next few months to try and help raise some funds doing that. If you're in the US, there's a link down below. They're offering $2 in free MP3s. And if you go through the process, you get a $2 credit. And if you go through and want to buy my two MP3s, which is my button remapping song and my can't stand up comedy set, I would really appreciate that. There's links down below. I'm gonna do a video tomorrow asking for help and asking the community if they can help me to raise the funds so I can go to PAX East. And I will do a video also showing off my new handy van because the thing is awesome. Yeah, and I wanna go down and I wanna to talk to developers, button remapping, and I need your help if you could, that'd be awesome. I do also have a chip in down below. If you are outside the United States, some people have always asked whenever I did those promos last year where I raised like $1,000 for my van, which was really awesome of everybody who helped out and those who also chipped in um, that I would like to, I wanna put that down there. I didn't have a chip in running for very long last year with the handy van thing because I didn't really wanna do that. But I know a lot of you guys outside of the United States can't buy my MP3s or can't support doing that. So I wanted to put that down there in case somebody wanted to donate that way. Um, so yes, that's all the things going on. Check out the links down below and I'll do a video tomorrow outlining the exact steps if you have any questions, but yeah, the MP3 is free of charge. Help me get the pack so I can talk to developers. Button remapping. Bring all that information and your signatures to their ears and to their faces. Okay, so that's what's going on with that. So I'm pretty stoked. Thank you everybody who also enjoyed and commented on the nurse, my hot nurse, unwrapping the gift from Ogasm. That was awesome. I totally, oh, you guys like the hot nurse. And her putting that bondage thing on me, a little S&M action. It's just ridiculous. I love domination and bondage. It's true, S&M. <laughs> but I can't feel pain. Why is that? That's so weird. I like bondage and S&M, but I can't feel pain. Maybe that's why I like it. I'm a big wimp in real life. It's like I just wince at the thought of somebody getting hurt. Oh, no way. I can't even watch those doctor shows on TV. That's how much of a wimp I am when it comes to pain and operations and just grossness so yeah that's all i gotta say about that but 
yeah, not a fan of the pain. Don't want it. One thing I want to point out from this gameplay that I found, that's a great spot for a Guardian, right inside the fuselage of this aircraft. Because if you saw earlier, that Hellstorm took me out, but it didn't actually destroy my Guardian, which they normally, I believe Hellstorms do take out Guardians and your gear like that, sentry guns and ARGs. So I thought it was a great spot. But this was what I was trying to do the whole game, just trying to occupy the objectives, keep them off of them. And that's basically like what I do, as you know, with the ride shield, I'm all about just stalling the enemy team, getting in their spawn and just keeping them from actually rushing the objective. And I die a ton, but I think I get like 10 caps in this whole two rounds that I was playing. So I was busting it, I was trying, I was trying my best, not caring about my KD. But my win loss at this point is like 1.5, but I roll with Handy Clan sometimes, which helps my win loss in domination. When I'm running solo though, I probably lose 50% of the games. But when you're playing with randos, that's what happens. There you go, ask a capper. Third on the team. Loving it. Loving it. So thank you for listening to this. I do think that you're awesome. And if you haven't checked out some of the videos on the screen, I got my Borderlands 2 tips and tricks. You gotta love the Borderlands game of the year in so many ways. Like, I have a remapping video coming out thanking Gearbox because they are awesome. And my voicemail Q&A picture in picture, if you haven't checked those out, get to see how I play. And the most annoying sound in the world, you should check it out. I made one, and you can too. And subscribe if you haven't. As always, game on gamers, peace in your crease.